is a quick cardio bar for legs, lower body. Let's get started. You'll only need a sturdy surface, so maybe a countertop, the back of a couch, a dresser, a wall even, or a chair. I'm gonna keep moving my chair around to fit in this little hallway space of our basement. Um, so get started. It's gonna have some short cardio bursts. This is made to uh, be quick, so if you have more time, you could go through this twice. I'm going to also upload this on my YouTube channel, so if you wanna watch the replay here on Instagram or my YouTube channel, you could do that. So find your sturdy surface. First, let's take a moment to ground down. Feel both of your feet planted. Inhale your arms up. Exhale, hands together at heart center. Take a moment to check in with yourself. See what you need today. You can say a mantra, an affirmation or something, or today's going to be a great day. Inhale that word or phrase or affirmation, something you need today up to the sky again, bringing your arms up. Exhale, hands come down. All right, so now face your sturdy surface. Right foot is in front, left leg is behind you. Belly button to spine to protect your low back. Bring your shoulders up to your ears, roll them down and back. I might have to turn my chair around because this is a little low. But anyways, we're going to take a lunge here, then lift back up, and then you're going to open. Toes are pointed out, heels in, and then plie here. So just go slow. You're not rushing through these movements. You want to add the arm, you just circle it around. And we're here for eight more. Eight. Or you could leave it on your hip. Five. Make sure your chest is lifted. Two more. Last one. Now stay here. And then tiny pulses here with your chest lifted. Sink low and just pulse. You can bring your hands together at heart center. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Stay low. Pop your heels and lower for ten, nine, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Leave them lifted. Tiny pulses here. Ten, nine, ooh, my balance. <laughs> Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower your heels. Tiny pulse, tiny jumps here. If you don't want to do the jump, you could just do a deep squat or add some jumps landing softly on your feet eight seven six five four three two one inhale up exhale hands to heart center face your chair sturdy surface again and come back to the lunge sink down and pulse here Keep your chest lifted, shoulders down and back. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Pop your right heel and lower. Keep breathing, take water when you need to. Five, four, three, two, one. Leave your heel lifted and pulse. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. From here, the short cardio burst. You could either be here and then drive your left knee up. And just do this, low impact. If you want more, bring your hand down, left hand down, 
come up, still low impact, or add a hop. For 10, nine, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come back up. So if you're facing your sturdy surface, just bring your left knee into your chest. I'm just gonna face you guys so you can see. We're gonna do a calf raise or a releve. So on your right tippy toe, lift your heel and lower. If that's too much, you could just do both, both feet down. So wherever you're at, keep going. I have a cramp in the bottom of my right foot. Five more. Five, four, three, two, and one. Shake your legs out. You can bend your right knee. Catch hold of your right foot or ankle. Tuck your tailbone under. And we're gonna switch sides. So I'm just gonna lift my chair up. And now, left foot is in front or opposite, whatever. So we'll come back and repeat the whole sequence on our left side. So lunge and open. Whoa, this isn't sturdy. Nine. We're at six. Four, three, two, and last one. Again, stay here. Ten tiny pulses here. Sink low. Pop your heels and lower. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Can you sink lower? 4, 3, 2, 1. Sink lower. Pulse. Heels lifted. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Whew, my legs. All right, 10, hop, 10 tiny hops here, or just plie. 10, nine, five, four, three, two, one. Come back facing your sturdy surface. You're in the lunge again. My cramp in my foot, sorry guys. All right, come down. We're gonna pulse here, 10, Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stay low, pop your left heel and lower. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stay lifted with your left heel. Tiny pulses here. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Stand up, shake out your legs a second. Coming back onto just your left foot or both for the calf raises or releves. If you choose, you could hug your right knee into your chest and releve up and lower for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, four, three, two, and one. Now again, going at your own pace, your own intensity. If you just want to step your right foot back, drive your right knee into your chest. You can stay here. 
you want to come down, you could come down and drive your knee into your chest or add the hop for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Stand back up. Catch hold of your left foot. Thigh stretch. So now we're gonna work on the backs of our legs in our seat area. I just had to move this because my legs won't fit. All right, take water if you need to. <laughs> Okay, so you could even use a wall if you want, or a chair. All right, bring your, you're on your left leg. So your left foot is your standing supporting leg. Soften in your left knee. Don't lock it out. Engage your core and belly button to spine that will protect your low back. Your right hip is facing the floor or your mat. It's not turned up. We will turn it up but not right now, it's turned down. You're just gonna lift your right leg and lower to the mat or ground. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Stay lifted, tiny pulses here. Make sure your right hip is still facing the mat. 10, nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stay here. Tiny circles in one direction. Five, three, two, one. Pause. Switch direction. Four, three, two, one. Now we open up. So come to your left forearm or whatever your standing supporting leg is. You're on that forearm. Open your right hip up and we'll just repeat down. So lower and lift to hip level. Still soft bend in your standing supporting leg. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, stay lifted, tiny pulses here, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, instead of the circles, you're gonna bend your knee, flex your foot. I might have to flex. Okay, so you're like so, and then you're just gonna push your leg back, so your foot is like Stepping on the wall behind you. So we have a door right there. So like I'm stepping on the door. 10, nine, or kicking the door rather. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come back through center. Cross your right ankle over your left thigh. Sit down, standing figure four. Flex your right foot so you're protecting your knee. If you actually have a bar too, or something, you could even like put your foot here and like lean into it. That stretches also. Switch sides. Ooh, my legs just flickered. Okay, so now my supporting leg is my right. So I'm standing on my right foot, right knee is slightly bent. back here. All right. Left hip is facing the mat or the ground. Lift and lower. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Stay lifted. Tiny pulses here. 10, 9, 8. Keep going. 
going seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Tiny circles in one direction. Ten, nine, eight, seven, three, two, one. Pause, switch direction. Ten, nine, eight, five, four, three, two, one. Open up your hip now. Repeat, lower and lift. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stay lifted, tiny pulses here. 10, nine, eight, seven. Is your core engaged or relaxed? Five, four, three, two, one. Flex your left foot, bend your knee. We're gonna step it back on the wall again. So push back. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Cross your left ankle over your right thigh, sit down, re not reclined, standing figure four. Left foot is flexed. And then last sequence. So you could be using a wall or whatever, your feet are hip distance. You're just going to sink down like a chair pose in yoga or just a normal squat. Hold here, tuck your tailbone under, belly butt to spine, lift your chest up. Don't clench your jaw, pulse here. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Releve up tippy toes and lower your heels. 10, nine, eight, let's try without holding on, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stay on your tippy toes, pulse. 10, nine, eight, seven, chest lifted. Five, four, three, two, one. Lower your heels, stand up. You could do a, just a normal squat or add a squat jump. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale your arms out and up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Come back to your steady surface or the wall. Come to like a downward facing dog, but using the surface or the wall. Just stretching out our low back and our hamstrings. Bend your right knee, drop it towards the midline. And then switch sides. Then come down, have as much bend in your knees as you need to. Catch elbow to elbow for ragdoll. You could stay still or move side to side. Release your grip, put a deep bend in both knees. Slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time. One more inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Again, checking in with yourself, seeing what you need today. Letting go of anything from this morning, yesterday, this month. We are six months into the year. Six months left for 2024. So maybe anything, leave right here from this year. Come back to that mantra, phrase, or word affirmation you need today. Something as simple as today is going to be a great day. Breathe that in. Loud, audible exhale. 
and like I said at the beginning, if you guys are feeling like energized and you want to go through this whole sequence again, go through it again. You could do it standing alone, stand still, just a quick cardio burst and sculpting, or you know, go on a walk or something or get outside. I hope everyone has a great day. In the comments, let me know if you try this and what you think. Thanks, guys.